Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Make a Game. Um, episode four, five, seven, next year. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, I'm actually joined by Big Rebel. Hello. Weeby. Yep. King Shadow. Stay Gucci fam. <laughs> and Red Guy. Hello. So, um, what are we doing tonight, guys? We got what do we have planned? Uh, we're going to be building some things for you in your sitting room. We are. And the first thing that I wanted to show was this little thing right here. Um, you guys might have seen the grass growing at spawn, and that's because I was really embarrassed about the random that didn't work. So I ended up redoing it. And okay, let me get the studio set up. I, so me and Black Shadow is going to build. So. Yep. You two are going to go over here. Um, like I said before, um, they're going to use this as their pallets. And basically they're going to build little houses like this. And it's going to have the same kind of design. So like all the uh, trim has to be the, cher the cherry wood style. The walls have to be white. The um, roofs have to be 15 degree angles and blue with this pattern like yeah you know what mm -hmm. I, you know what yeah. i want <laughs> i'm bob the builder <laughs> bob the builder so <laughs> this right here is the adventurers guild we did an episode on that this is going to be like the mystic shop where you can buy potions and like different little magical trinkets and items then this is going to be the armory <clears throat> i don't know that i'm going to have fighting per se because I don't know if I want NPCs running around and like monsters and stuff. It's more of an adventure game. So like a grappling hook to get somewhere or a ladder that you could purchase to climb certain areas. Stuff like that. So that's what I mean by the blacksmith. Don't, don't think of it like weapons. Think of it more like that. Anyhow. Uh, Weeby Red Guy. Yes. What do you want to work on? I'm going to actually build houses too. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'll just, uh, I guess, work on a shop system or something. Yes. Um, I want jelly beans. <laughs> jelly bean? Jelly beans. Okay. I, w I want to be able to buy and sell like 50 different kinds of jelly beans. Okay, I can do that. Cool. Thank and... you. Jelly beans. <laughs> I keep forgetting now. I grabbed the piece I want. Then it's control, control D. D. Or you can. D. Ah. Or you can uh, yeah. right click on it and then click duplicate. And if you really want to do it that way. And then I will pull this. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Whew. Okay. Grab this. Drop it down over here. Um, I'm putting the green grass back where it was to begin with. So it should be growing in the original place, but I wanted to show you guys the script behind this. So let's go into Studio 2. No, that's that's the wrong. Oh, dang it. There we go. Okay. And we will remove that. <clears throat> I, I should probably put on some music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I'll add it, add it in later. So everybody knows what uh, no copyright sounds is. So shout out to them. Thank you guys for making your channel. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Shh, 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 quiet, quiet, shh, quiet. It was really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Playlist. Um, Sorry, go ahead. Dang it. Like I said, it's going to be a little learning curve for me still. <laughs> been a while since I've messed with studio. Well, that's we, why uh, that's why everybody's future. here in, in yep. the video is to learn and to script and to build. Okay. Uh, the stretch again. Um, I know I need to select oh, it, looks, it. It looks awesome. Oh, you guys can't see. <laughs> Turned it off so we can do some scripting and then forgot to turn it back on so you could see where I was running. Oh wait, no, you can see. Okay. Man, I feel bad that I can't get it to... OBS is not capturing the uh, the actual 
what you're seeing here. So I have to fade it out so you can see the scripts. Fade. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. So. Is there, a, is there a size limit for houses that you want? Um, make it. Just make sure that they can't jump from the house to the top of one of the uh, the pillars. Like this up here is a no no walk zone. I don't want anybody walking over the top of these. Okay. That's all. They can get on top of the building and like look over, but not much. Just no climbing up. Okay. Um, hey, hey. Um, oh, you guys can't see that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get into the scripting part of it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> red guy, or one of y'all. Uh, yes. How to make it stretchy. Uh, uh, you go to model and you select and you select the part you're using and then you'll do scale. Okay, so there we go. Wait, there's the model. Uh, I've clicked uh, clicked this one. Okay, so right here, um, I created a script inside the green grass generator right here called script. And this is a server side script, so it doesn't it doesn't affect the client; it affects inside the server. And on here we have local green grass equals get game service replicated storage. I did all this during a live stream, but when I got down here to the random position, like the random stuff, I did it wrong. I was calling random, thinking it was going to create a random number. It creates an object called random, and then you have to call a function called next number to grab that actual random, and that's down here. So, for um, the Y position, we don't actually need that because we're going to use the position of the object that it's in. So, my spawn time is 0.25. That means it's it's really fast to spawn, but that gets offset because I make the, the, uh, the grass fade in right here. So, um, spawn time is 0.25. The radius is 10. I'm actually going to pump that up to 20. So it can be 40 in any direction from um, from our position. So it can be plus 40X and plus 40Z, or it can be minus 40X and minus 40Z on the radius. Um, right here, I created this thing called local my number, or my random equals random new. <clears throat> and then down here, make our loop and we have wait spawn time, which was declared up here, 0.25. New grass is green grass clone. So we cloned a new green grass out of the local, or little, out of the replicated storage right here. This is a lot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have new grass dot transparency. We set to one, so we make it invisible. And then the parent we set to workspace. So wherever that green grass was, it's now in the world and can appear. The X, Y, and Z coordinates, I do my random next number minus radius plus radius. So the minimum number can be negative uh, 20 and the top number can be plus 20, I think. Yeah, that's right. So I told you wrong, it was plus 20 and minus 20. So it does that for the X and the Z, the Y we don't touch because down here, uh, the offset is going to be vector, new, X, Y, Z. We take these three and combine them. The new grass dot position is equal to our scripts parent, this generator, its position plus the offset. So whatever the offset was, it's gonna be plus or minus X comma zero comma plus or minus uh, Z, which is 20 or negative 20, somewhere in there, random. So, um, when it comes into the world, it has, uh, for X equals one comma zero comma negative 0 0.05. This means start at zero or sorry, start at one, go to zero in each, each loop or each rotation. I want you to do minus 0 0.05. And then we do the new grass dot transparency equals X. So whatever this is on its loop, it's going to wait 0.1 seconds and then make the transparency. So it looks like the grass fades into the world. That's how it, I get the uh, the effect. 
and then new grass dot transparency equals zero. We want to make sure that it's a it's a solid zero and not like 0 0.05 something off. So you have to do that after the loop. Once that's done, we let this thing run. It's it's going to sit here and generate grass all day long in that little circle that we declared over there. Um, now, on top of that, the green grass itself. So inside inside replicated storage, boop, right here. Oh, not that, that's the sword. Pay no attention to the sword in the replicated storage. <coughs> <laughs> um, inside the green grass, the script that we had before, I changed. So this is a one-shot script, meaning the object's going to come into the world, it's going to run, and then it's going to die. There's no loop in here. So what I did is my name equals green grass, my max equals 20. You can only pick up 20 of these. Uh, the money value for this is only going to be one. The lifespan is going to be 30. So uh, I put a pool sound, which when you pick, some, pick one of the pieces of grass, it actually makes a sound. And then I also did a nope sound, which means when you have over 20, it makes a different sound and you can't pick it up. So, and then all this stuff is like before, except for uh, you have too many. We changed the word to. Thank you for the misspelling, because I don't really do spelling. I do math um, and coding, programming. This object.instance new, we create a tool. So. Um, before it looks like you're picking up the grass and putting it into your backpack, you're not really. The object itself that you clicked on is creating a new tool on the fly, slapping that into your backpack and then deleting itself. So we create this tool. Uh, it has an authorized name of authorized. It has an authorized value of one. So we know that that's the first authorized object in the game. Um, I have a server side script that will look through your backpack periodically to make sure that you didn't res in objects that you're not supposed to. Yeah, known things there. Um, by the way, B tools is going to be broken eventually. <laughs> uh, the count dot name. We, all right, so we create a new integer right here. Hold on, right here. So we create an instant called count, an instance called money. And an instance called auth and these are all integer values that are added to that object so this new object of a tool now has three objects inside of it um i'll show you this in the in the sidebar when we actually play and it has a money and it sets the value to money value uh this dot transparency equals 1.0 this uh dot click click maximum distance is zero Okay, so this is like after you've clicked the object, it's checked, do you already have that object inside your backpack? If you do, add one to it. Uh, if you have 20, you have too many. Uh, if you don't have that object, create the object, and then down here at the bottom, it deletes itself. So no matter what the situation was inside the, like if you have one or not, um, and the only exception is you have too many. If you have too many, it doesn't delete itself. So it sets the transparency to one, makes it disappear first and then uh, maximum distance to zero, so you can't click on it while it's making its sound. It plays the pluck sound, the, the pulling out of the ground. It waits a second, and then it destroys itself. So, um, down here at the bottom of this, I've added weight lifespan. So each one of these objects now has a new variable called lifespan, 30 seconds. So when it's resed into the world, it will be there for 30 seconds, and then destroy itself. That way it, you don't get like a flood of objects happening. Plus, um, on back on that generator, the number that we set for spawn time, that's going to be how fast and how many we can res into the world, given over a length of time. So for example, if I wanted a really rare item, I would set that spawn time way high, and then the lifetime really low. And it would spawn very rarely but it would continuously spawn. Um, the other thing I could do is I could set the radius to a really big area and make it a small spawn time. That way it could cover a large area, but not give you as many as if it were in a compacted area. Do I say, does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Okay. It does to me. Cause, Cause I sound like, I feel like I'm sounding crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. That's uh, 
that's the basic rundown of it. Uh, let's go, let's go check this out, and then this dot destroy. So, fade this back in so you guys can see it, and we're go actually going to play. Oh, hold on. I've expanded the uh, playing area. There we go. Boop. There we go. That looks normal. I think. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Hitting F5. Which, by the way, you won't see these guys in world because it's a local version. Um, I could fire up a server and you guys could all see it, but... I mean... Also, I don't have any way of indicating how many you currently have in your inventory. Um, that'll probably be later. But, I wanted to show this to you. This is this is awesome. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, uh, pretty yeah. good. Uh, my guy. Yeah. I see you making a character of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm testing out a building way I saw on a video a while back. I never got a chance to try it out, so I thought I would put it out. Oh, I can see them building themselves. Ah! Oh, wow, God. red guy, wow. I am the bean lord, you can trade in your beans. <laughs> <laughs> as long as there's a shadow bean, I, I will. <laughs> yes, and I was thinking about putting, like, the ability, if, if light level at the area that you're at is below a certain amount then you can click on another light level area and it would teleport you to call call it like shadow travel or something Ooh. amazing yeah shadow yeah. travel shadow travel better we could, we could call it shadow dancer oh <gasps> shadow dancer <laughs> anyhow um notice there's nothing inside my backpack down here at the bottom or in my inventory and if I click one of these, click. All right, it looks like it's a little too far off the ground. But now, technically, I've got two of these, and I'll show you inside players. I don't know if you guys can see this. Inside my backpack, right here, green grass, and it has a count, a value of two. So this, this value just keeps going up as I click more of these. Two, three... Or sorry, four, five. See, and I can I can just leave this generator to spawn its own stuff into the world. Because if we look, oh, there was you. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is just me moving some things. Right here's the green grass count. One, two, three, four. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12. So as one's getting generated, another one's disappearing. Because it's it's uniform across the board. It, like, one comes into the world, one disappears. One comes into the world, one disappears. So there's, there's, if nobody picks them, there's always going to be like 20 or 30 of them sitting out there because of the lifespan and the res time. So. I hope this works. Like, so far, so far it seems to be working pretty well. But I'm giving you guys gold and nothing to spend it on. So that's the next step is we're going to have a shop. Oh, jelly beans. Yeah. Um, do you need any models for jelly beans? I could probably make one. Um, currently, I just have a can of beans. <laughs> do you want to make jelly beans, sir? <sighs> Did you? Is that? You didn't make that, right? Huh? Is this? that a free model? This is the mesh. Huh? Is that a free model? Uh, no, it's a mesh. Oh. It's a free mesh. It's a free mesh. Free. But not a free model. Whoa, wait a second. Hold on. Hi there. I'm the Bean Lord. What can I help you with? <laughs> and then I walked close and it says, I have some beans I would like to trade in. Okay, how many beans would you like to trade in? All of my beans. Wait, how is that still there? Dot dot <laughs> dot. <laughs> Hi there, I'm the Bean Lord. Uh, Bye. 
And then if you walk away, it literally, like I saw this message pop up saying that you walked away or didn't reply to the chat and the chat has ended. We have to mm -hmm. have a better selling system as too. So yeah. if I walk over this, it just sells them and gets them out of the inventory. Oh my gosh, these like little things are like messing with my mind horribly. Like it has to be perfect. Ugh. <laughs> okay, here, I'll stop the game. <clears throat> so that's that's how the generator works. I just wanted I wanted to show that to you guys. There. Maybe it needs to be down one more. It's working okay over there, but Oh, is the green grass got collide on? <gasps> I bet that's what it is. Can collide is turned on. So you don't want people to like walk onto the grass and it like holds them up because it's supposed to be grass. You like walk through it and over it and stuff. So gotta make sure can collide is turned off. Oh, it is off. Hmm. Move it down some. We'll see how that goes. That should that should work. Maybe. Doesn't look right. There we go. We'll keep it right there. But the generator itself makes itself invisible, makes itself non-collide, makes itself anchored, so it stays in spot. You can just move this around where you want. And I'm going to use this as the main model for generating other things, like the uh, the plants and stuff. So, Which, by the way, you're going to have to get a harvesting knife, not a, like, not a hurt knife or a fighting knife of any kind. Wow, you guys are doing awesome. Uh, I still I need to stretch this one block, and I still can't figure it out. Oh <laughs> my gosh! <laughs> ah, why won't you go perfectly? It doesn't go perfect. <laughs> Everyone sees a sneak peek of Shadow. You guys are doing great. I'm okay. just copying out things. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Prime. Alright, what are you doing with this part? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, where the, where the two pieces are, well, one of them is going to be moved out. Uh, where the uh, two spots are right here, mm -hmm. the one I got highlighted, that's the one I'm trying to stretch to fit there for the door. Gotcha. And then I'm gonna make another door probably in the back somewhere. Wait, you want this click this piece as the door? Mm-hmm. I want that the stretched out where you can touch the two two walls there. Yeah. Yep. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can't five, I can't stretch the wall. Six. I had I had to pick it out and stretch the walls. Okay, here. I'm going to hold control and I'm selecting okay. multiple walls. Okay. And delete. I'm going to select the first wall. And then up in my model, see how it has home, model, terrain, test? Select model, select scale. And you're going to get the, the little. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. I'm going to select model model okay and then you have select move scale rotate uh, yeah. I think the desktop sounds might be too loud hold on oh gosh the entire video okay is I see where it says anchor there we go is that a duplicated you use no 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 up there at the top you're not looking yes. at the properties of the brick yet. No, I'm looking at the at the very top where uh, I can actually go, like play the game, like go into to it and move around. Mm. Uh, no, not under test. Go to model. Model one over. Okay. Yep. There we go. And now select your piece and select scale. Uh. So like select this one, the piece in the world. Okay. And then select scale. And then I can, I can move it up and down. That's you have move selected. Change it to and scale, right next to it. Okay. 
Let's go. There we go. All right. There we go. Did you get it? I got it. There we go. So then you can just scale it all the way across. And as long as you're at one stud, you should be even all the way across. Because everything okay. goes off one stud. Yeah, I just copied the what you had over there. The, so the base plate is basically um, four, four of the small small ones. Do it. Uh, this little house over here. Mm -hmm. It's four of these little ba uh, plates that's here. That it was just a model of them, so like yeah, that's just the ba that's what the base part is, mm -hmm. the base plate. It's just for them. It's right just there. one of those. Did you do? Oh, uh, it's I, it's four. Yeah, here. Hold I control. use four. <laughs> here. Um, watch me for a second. Watch your watch your model. Ready? You should be able to see what I select, and control. Delete. Okay. And then if you look at the width of this one, um, this is where you're actually going to look at the um, position and scale and rotation size, size stuff like that. It's 18 by 1 by 22. <clears throat> so if you wanted to, you can go 22 to 44. So we're going to make it 44 by 44. So it's 44, 1, 44. Boink, like that. And then you just grab it and move it in place. Okay. Cool. All right. And like I said, I just have to, I have to remember how all this stuff again. <laughs> That's why I'm glad to uh, get the help. <laughs> I love helping. Oh, I know you do, Code. You always do. And then have this. Right here. Here's kind of the cool part because it's a, uh, it's equal. Like we know that it's the same left and right. Sorry, mm -hmm. um, X and Z axis. I'm going to take both of these large walls. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate. And I'm going to hit Rotate, and we're just going to pull this one all the way around. Blink. All around. Uh, Look at that. And I can take these corner posts and put right there in the sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. I. Right, I. Right. So wait, now, wait, wait, wait. Take this out. I'll show you another trick. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that piece that you've got, I'm gonna hit Control D. I'm gonna duplicate it one time, and I'm I'm going to slap it on the opposite and uh, the opposite corner. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the exact opposite corner. Like this. And right in there. Okay? Okay. Now hold control and I want you to select both the post. Just the post. So select the first yeah. post. Let me Somebody hold control. somebody just subscribed. I heard the sound go off. Wood wood, keep subscribing or try me. <laughs> Thank you. Now okay. Hold your control key and select the second one. Perfect. I Hit control D. And you're gonna duplicate it one time. We be now Okay. Select rotate from your uh, from your model menu. Rotate. And because okay. you've got both selected, you should be able to rotate exactly ninety degrees. On the green green Jeez. axis. So grab the green ball and put it to where the red ball is. Why is it? Do you do you have rotation selected? Instead of I have uh, oh selected, but what and mm. so you can see it control. Oh, yeah. Look, you did 45 degrees. You need to go 45 more. One more. Perfect. Okay. And then... Now hit move so, and just push yeah. it down. 
move here. Uh, there you go. Select, huh? select move. Yeah, I got it selected. I'm just trying to get it to where I can. There it goes. Alright, a little bit. Yeah, you got one more. One. Perfect. There we go. Look at that. So, if you're building something symmetrically, wait, is it asymmetric or symmetric? Symmetrically. If you're building something symmetrically and all the numbers are the same, there's little tricks that you can do for like grabbing the two opposite sides of something and rotating 90 degrees and that something becoming uniform across um, sides, all sides. Okay. So. So I'll grab this blue block, uh, the blue uh, piece. <laughs> Look at Weeby over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Weeby's showing off. <laughs> He's like, look at me, Code, look! Look at what I can do! Look at this! <laughs> I can do what you can do, but See, better. <laughs> but I'm I'm actually glad to be able to learn all this. Mm -hmm. So this needs to be... I need to... Uh, I, f I feel like a project manager right now. Hey! <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> At least you're, you're teaching. Mm-hmm with somebody uh it's doing it hands-on and that's how i learn is hands-on um jelly bean and... gin <laughs> oh i gotta take a look at this hold on okay here's the jelly bean gin it says red guys editing what? get server replicated server Jelly Bean, do you have anything inside Replicated Server yet? Yep. Replicated, replicated storage. Right there, Jelly Bean. What's the Jelly Bean got inside of it? It's got a script. This apparent is clickable true. Name is Beans. I don't think it'll taste that good. I, I, I don't think <laughs> scripts taste that good, but it might just be me. <laughs> Cherry flavored Jelly Beans wow. script. Um. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm, copy Sounds ID. tasty, but your variable is still called new grass, by the way. What? Your variable is still called new grass. New grass. Wait, where? Uh, line thirteen. Oh. It says new grass equals jelly bean clone. <laughs> new jelly equals. Wait, no, new grass equals new jelly <laughs> Grass flavored jelly beans, everyone. It's bamboozled or bean boozled. <laughs> Which by the way, we gotta new we gotta do another one of those challenges. That'd be awesome to do inside the Discord. Uh, uh oh. Well code. Code. Yeah. Uh you, you I can't can rotate it, not rotate it, but uh turn it on as axles uh from being flat to being like forty five degrees. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to do that, and it's not working. I'm taking the blue one mm -hmm. and moving it to to pretty much halfway and releasing, and it's not moving. Like do do? that? Yeah, like that. Um. Okay. Oh, do you have collision selected? I shouldn't have collision selected at all. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Un unselect collisions. That way it doesn't collide with like, the ground. Okay. That might have been the problem earlier, too. Probably so. So now try, yeah, try your angle. Yeah, that's what it was. There yeah. it goes. That's what it was. All right. Oh, oh, gosh. We are at 34. <laughs> yeah. We're at 34 minutes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I Time flies when you build. <laughs> it does. It takes so long to make games. Like I don't, I don't know if you guys realize this, but they they have these overnight game rushes at RDCs, which is the the Roblox Developers Count, Council convenient convention, yeah. RDC. And they have these overnight games 
just built. And people are like, oh, well, that's so simple. Oh, that's just a little simple game. No, it is amazing what these guys are coming up with as teams and stuff. And I was looking at this going, I need help. I really do. So <laughs> thank you guys for jumping in here. Oh, you're welcome, Code. No problem. Anytime you want help, just or building, just Absolutely. let me know. I'm only one. I only have Come. one rule: no free models. Ah, uh, you say I'm not building no free model. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Build a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, joined by all these lovely people. Oh gosh, I killed the thing. Um, let's see if I can do it off memory. Um, red guys here, Weeby, Black Shadow, and Big Rebel. Did I miss anybody? No. Uh, John Cena. <laughs> John <laughs> Cena! No. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out and check these guys out. Come over to the Discord. Buy a t-shirt. I love you guys. <laughs> and, oh, by the way, that is completely up to you. I would never tell you that you have to do anything. It is your choice. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Hey, can you guys say outro in your deepest Batman voice? I'm Batman. Outro. Outro. Outro.